watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we're going to be taking a look at a Glow Series knife. Now these knives glow in the dark. The handle glows in the dark. It says a uh, knife with the handle that glows in the dark. Okay. Um, this box does not, by the way. Some people have asked and it does not glow in the dark. One interesting thing though. Got the RI spelling on the box, which I thought was interesting. So prob probably used this box from an older series of knives and just repurposed them. But uh, the RY spelling is what they're using right now. So it's kind of weird that they have the RI spelling on the box. QR code here, China, country of origin. Cancer warning on the bottom there. And we're looking at model number RR2492. So what do we have there? RR2492 is the small sow belly stockman. Measures close length of a three and an eighth, three and an one eighth inch. You get nickel silver bolsters on either end with a double thread. Yeah, nickel silver pins and nickel silver shield, which is a bow tie Chevrolet style shield. Got rough over here and rider over here. Inside of a diamond, you have two back to back R's, which are also the tangs on all three blades stamped in. You get brass liners, stainless steel springs. Construction looks to be really well done. I'm not seeing any gaps at all. And so that's really well done. Even the corners here are really nice. Oftentimes you'll have a little dip down here in the corners, but nope, not on this one. Smooth to the transitions here. The shield's well inlaid. No stepping there. Pins are nice. Same thing on the back here. All smoothed down. No issues there at all. Well, there's a good look at that double ring bolster. Now with any stopping you get three blades. And this is just a standard style sow belly here. So we have Stockman blades of the clip point blade as your main blade. Mirror finish on this guy with a match strike pole. There's a look at the blade edge. Close look up to that match strike pole. Nice little clip blade. There's your tank stamp. You can see the RR there. And if we kind of bend it in here at 90 degrees, we can see the bottom part there, the rough rider with the Y spelling. So contradicts the box. Again, the RY spelling is what they're using right now. They're having switched from the RI spelling. Actually, they started out with RY spelling, went to the RI spelling, went back to the RY spelling. <laughs> that was a little confusing, but there was a long period there where they were using the I spelling. And only a very short term at the beginning of the Rough Rider line where they were using the Y. Anyway, so let's take a look at that clip point blade in a little more detail here. We've got to the tang, ah, right around two, ugh, just a little over a quarter, isn't it? But shy of half. So we'll call that two and three eighths. Then you got a cutting edge slightly over two inches. Let's call that two and a sixteenth. Five pull on this, not a ton of snap either on the open or close. It's not horrible. I'd say about a five, maybe a little lighter, four and a half, perhaps. But, uh, yeah, not the strongest spring for sure. Now, if we look at the uh, sheep's foot blade, it's the middle blade here, it's got the lightest of the three pulls on it. Again, mirror finish, match strike pull there, and the, uh, the R tang stamp. But the, the snap on that, pretty light. This just does snap in right at the last minute there. You're almost all the way closed. And it just doesn't doesn't have a strong lock up really. Pretty pretty loose. I mean I can easily push that in with my thumb. So again, not the greatest uh spring strength on this one. But it's a small knife, so it's a little more forgivable. 
All right, and the final blade, well, let's measure this one first. So we got a measurement of to the tang just over an inch and a half. Let's call that, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call that, uh, one and five eighths, I guess. And the cutting edge, right about one and a quarter. Got just a touch of blade rub on this one. Um, actually, uh, adjusted the blade crink just slightly so it would fit a little better in there. Not too hard to do when you've got blades like this. Now it's pretty much perfect. You got it resting in there just perfectly. You can see there's gaps on both sides there. So it's not really rubbing anything unless I give it some push rub on the open and close, which I try to open them straight upward so you don't do that. But there you have that. So, all right, let's look at our final blade here. And that one's got the best pull of the three. I'd say that one's about a six. But you get the little spade blade there. You can tell just by the little notch there at the end, not, not a pin blade or anything. And again, match strike pull. And on this side, we've got the RR tank stamp once more. So they're on all three blades. And there's a look at that logo, RY spelling. Match strike pull again. Take a closer look at the blade edge of this guy. Maybe a little heavier on this side than the opposite. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty even. Maybe not uh, the most consistent across the edge, but... I've seen worse. And again, we're looking at a $10 knife here, guys, so keep that in mind. But yeah, nice pull on this one. I'd say, you know, about six. And that snaps in there pretty good. So, pretty happy with that. But overall, eh, just kind of okay as far as uh, spring strength. And I got some other examples here. And I, I kind of looked at those as well to kind of compare in terms of blade strength. And you've got some that are a little better and some about the same. But one of the things I wanted to talk about in terms of the website was that... Uh, Unless you're kind of familiar with the pattern, you may not have known that you were getting this size because they've got the wrong dimension on the website. They're calling it uh, three and three quarter. And you can see it's easily three and an eighth. And one way to tell is it does have that double bolster. As you can see, all these other knives have the double ringed bolster there, which would indicate it is a smaller sow belly, not the three and three quarter inch size. But just something that Smoky Mountain Knife Works needs to correct on their website. Uh, another good indicator is what this knife was ten dollars, and I think generally speaking, uh, sow bellies go for, I think, you know, in a plain style like this, maybe like twelve to dollars or higher. So at ten dollars, I was skeptical that it was the full size one, especially with the double ring bolsters on it, and I was right. But <clears throat> wasn't sure because it said three and a quarter, or sorry, three and three quarter. So just know that going in that uh, it is the smaller one. The model number again to verify is RR2492, smaller sow belly. But overall, pretty solid knife. Uh, seems to be pretty sharp out of the box. Did some paper cut test, no problem. Has a pretty good construction to it. But the only downside really is the spring. Spring shrink just meh, just kind of meh. So overall, you kind of uh, may have a hit and miss type thing with this particular one because as I said, some of these other ones had a little better pull strength on them. And uh, so it may just be my example wasn't the greatest, but uh, it's hard to know. But just an okay knife for $10. And... Uh, not disappointed, but at the same time, I've, I've bought better and been more excited about other knives. So, that's going to do it for my review, guys. Just sort of a, just sort of an average knife. Nothing spectacular. But, uh, before we go, I want to let you look at the, the glow strength on it. Give you an idea how well these work in the dark. So, let me hold this up to the light for just a moment, and then I'll bring them back down and turn off the lights. And we'll have a chance to kind of evaluate how well it glows. 
All the other ones I've tried have been really good, so I don't expect anything different from this. The material works. It's just it's not some kind of gimmick. It really does do the job. Now I'm going to kind of light up both sides on this one. And let's see how it works. All right, we're going to cut the lights. Yeah, you can see it glows pretty good. And there's that side. And that side didn't get quite as much light. But yeah, it glows pretty good. So that gives you a pretty good concept of how much you can expect it to glow. In a really dark area there between my hands. You can see a little bit of leak light leaking in from the back of the room here. But it does a pretty good job. You definitely would find that in the dark. No problem. But that's going to do it for my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. And if you are subscribed, make sure you're notified by ringing that bell. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss any videos to come. But hope everybody has a fantastic day today. Please do. Take care.